Good morning, or depending on when you're watching this, good afternoon, good evening, or good night. My name's Ross, and as always told, out of Voice of Radio. So today, we need to look at a couple of things which are, frankly, a pretty big deal. I've got two stories I want to talk about in today's video, and yes, I do sincerely believe these are a bit of a big deal. Now, I showed you the other day my first battle well no i didn't show you that's a lie i told you the other day about this new product coming my first battle box well wonderful news ladies and gentlemen they are here well okay they're not actually here but we got images of them and look the images are tiny and terrible and it makes me really sad we don't have better quality images all right i'm sorry but we do have a look and we can tell some very important things here's what it says on the back your Pokemon TCG adventure starts here. If you've always wanted to play the Pokemon trading card game with family and friends, the Pokemon TCG My First Battle set is the perfect introduction. With a streamlined game and foolproof guidance, you'll be ready to train and battle together. Everything you need for two players is included. Inside, you'll find everything two people need to play. Two mini decks of 17 cards each, two play mats, a rule book, one large metallic Pokemon coin, a sheet of damage counters, and six prize tokens. Cool! That sounds good to me. Also, still available for voiceovers, just pointing that out there. Now, there are a few things that we can see from the image, and that we can see from the description here, which are pretty important and pretty relevant. First of all, three prize tokens each. Like, if we have a little bit of a look here... It, it's clearly showing that there's three prize tokens on each board. And also, the box comes with everything two people need to play. So, that means three prize tokens each. But that's not even really a question at this stage. That's just a, a pretty obvious deduction. Okay, cool. I mean, you're playing with 17 card decks. As I explained in the previous video, 17 card decks actually make perfect sense. Because remember, you draw an opening hand of seven cards... You're not putting out prize cards. Ergo, you draw seven cards to start your opening hand. You then got a ten card deck. Well, ten is a very nice round number, so that makes perfect sense. That's easy. Okay, jobs are good un. The reason for three prizes each is to make the game shorter. You're playing with ten card decks. This is an introductory product. That's the whole point. And while we're here, I know I made this, this point in the previous video, but I do need to make it again. I love this. This is wonderful. The idea here that we've got this product for absolute complete beginners to teach you the game in this really straightforward manner, I think is brilliant and wonderful and amazing. I, I could not be more in favor of this. I think it's wonderful. It is, it's a, the polar opposite of the League Battle Decks. League Battle Decks is, of course, the, the product where the, they are supposed to be tournament-level decks. You know, the Mew one is literally 16 cards away from the deck that got top 8 at the World Championships. It's brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. These are phenomenal for people who want to start learning to play competitively quickly. These new products, these My First Battle sets, these are phenomenal for players who just want to learn to play the game. Now, I think it's also worth noting that the image we've got clearly seems to show two different versions of it. One's got Pikachu and Bulbasaur on the front. The other one's got Charmander and Squirtle. I wish I could show you a better look at these. I promise you. I promise you when we've got a better look at these, I'll show you. But right now, this seems pretty relevant. Seems like there's two different versions. And also, I'm buying these. Like, I'm buying these a second they drop. There is no chance I'm not buying these. Because very simply, firstly, I can use them to teach my kids to play, which is going to be great. And secondly, these are actually pretty collectible. Now, firstly, these cards seem to be promo cards. Now, again, we or at least unique cards. Maybe promo is the wrong word, but unique cards. And again, the, the image we've got is terrible, terrible quality. But they very much seem to be new, unique cards. So the fact that they're new, unique cards makes me want to buy them so I can have these new, unique cards. But I'm sure some of you have noticed, in the image, they've got different card backs. They don't have the same card backs as a regular Pokemon card. They've got my first battle backs. Now, there is absolutely the possibility that those are sleeves. However... 
if those are sleeves, why are sleeves not listed on the contents of the box? These boxes don't have sleeves in. Therefore, these have to be card backs. Which means they have different card backs. Which firstly, makes them cool and unique. Not only are they new cards, but they got different card backs. That's awesome. Secondly, it means they're not tournament legal. And we, we don't need any ruling or any discussion on this. They are definitely not tournament legal. Cards with different backs are never tournament legal. That's one of the things they do in the world's decks to make sure that people don't make that mistake. They literally give them different card backs to make sure that they're um, well, not tournament legal. <laughs> so yeah, there we go. Uh, feel free to be upset about this if you want. Doesn't really matter. They're not tournament legal. They are extremely cool though. They are unique. They've got new cards in. I love these. I'm buying these straight away. And because they've got different card backs and unique cards, etc. I hope this is deliberate. But Pokemon have done kind of a, a real impressive thing here. They've made these products for complete and utter beginners. That should only be bought by people who are learning to play. Or who are teaching people to play. And they've made them really cool. So massive nerds like me. Even if you're not teaching people to play are going to want to go and buy them, and I think that's awesome. But there is another important thing that's happened in the past couple days, and for this, I need to give a massive shout-out to the lovely Dan Norton, DJ Gigabyte, over on Twitter. Because he tagged me in a tweet he put out last night, and it says this. So apparently, the check lane evolution blisters can no longer just be ignored for only having set cards. Dondozo and Armor Rouge featured a foil with vertical lines different to the mirror foil from the set. We'll recheck another new and recent ones when I see them in stores. And I've heard reports incidentally that these are the same for the new set as well. These were obviously the Scarlet and Violet blisters, but the Powder Evolved ones apparently are the same as well. Now, these products are ones that for a long time, I have told you not to bother. I have been very clear about this. I'm very honest in my videos. Now, I'm a very excitable fellow. So sometimes I get arguably overly excited. But I'm very honest in my videos. What that means is I am telling you my honest opinion on all of these products all the time. That is just what I'm doing here. And I have long told you that these check lane blisters are not worth buying. Because, you know, the Armor Rouge and Dondozo ones here, you've just got a 1-1 Armor Rouge line, a 1-1 Dondozo line, two packs and a coin. So if you really want the coin, they're worth buying. If you're keeping them for your steel collection, they're really worth buying. And if you desperately want Armor Rouge and Dondozo, both of which are actually kind of playable, and you really don't want to wait for singles or save money buying singles, then yes, these are reasons to buy the cards. Outside of that, these are pointless products. And I've been telling you this for a while, and it's been true. It's no longer true. Because as you can see from this second image, comparing the Dondozo to a Meowskarada, the foil pattern is different. It is a lined vertical foil rather than just a plain mirror foil. And that means that all of a sudden, these products have something different. They are worth buying. Now, you can see from the first image here, we've still got the regular set numbers. We don't have a promo numbering. We don't have a different set symbol. The artwork is identical. Put the Dondozo next to the Dondozo. The artwork is identical here. However, we've now got a different foil pattern. Now, different people are going to think about this differently. Some people are going to look at this and go, hang on a second, that's new and different and weird. I must have it. Some people are going to look at this and go, whew. Because I know a lot of people out there collect Black Star promos. And these are not Black Star promos because they've got the regular set number. So those people are basically off the hook and don't have to chase these down. There are going to be other people that look at this and go, oh, we'll see, it's a slightly different holofoil pattern. Calm down, buddy, all right? And those people are going to ignore it and that's going to be fine. But I have come onto this channel many, many times over the past few years and told you that these check lane blisters are rubbish and shouldn't be bought. Because they're just regular cards and regular packs. And there's nothing about them that makes them special or worth buying. And up until now, that has been true and that has been good advice. But now they're being printed with a different holo pattern. Now things have changed and they absolutely are worth buying. Although I do think this is really, really, really important. Check. I know that these have got the foil 
because I've seen them. Simple as that. I have heard reports that the poor Morton Armour Lever ones from Paulea Revolved have this same foil as well. But check before you buy. And the rule is really simple. You know, look at this image again that compares them together. If they've got the mirror foil in the blisters, don't buy them. They're the same as the set cards. They're not worth it. If, however, they've got the vertical lines on them, then all of a sudden it's way better. They are different and they are worth buying. They are weird and unique and cool. And it really is as simple as that. I'm not saying these are all of a sudden absolutely essential products or anything stupid like that. But I absolutely am saying that whereas they used to just be standard cars in a standard pack, avoid them, spend your money somewhere else, there is now actually a reason to play them, and that's pretty gosh darn cool. Right, there we go, ladies and gentlemen. That's what you need to know, and now it's over to you guys. Tell me what you think about my first battle set and whether you're going to be buying them. Tell me if these blisters have changed your mind or whether a slightly different hollow pattern just doesn't do it for you. Let me know in the comment section. Go nuts. Be nice. And then make sure you like this video, subscribe to this channel, follow me on Twitter at the Wasi. That's where we talk about Pokemon and card games and a whole bunch of other fun things. And please do consider checking out patreon.com slash ptcgradio, where you can support the channel, get some bonus podcasts, join the Discord, all kinds of fun things. And get shoutouts on the channel like the lovely Edgar Menares, who's been a supporter of ours for a while now and is a very lovely person. So shout out to them for both the support and the loveliness. But by far the most important thing as always, look after yourself till next time, would ya? Thank you very much for watching. My name's Ross, and you've been watching PTCG Radio.